So for G, we've got R equals A sine theta. And like we did in the exercise A, the little trick here is times both sides by R. And so that gives us that R squared equals sine squared Sorry, r squared equals a r sine theta. Now, r squared, of course, is x squared plus y squared. And r sine theta, well, that was simply y. So we've got x squared plus y squared equals a y. Um, what we're going to do, we'll take all of that over one side. So I get minus a y equals zero here. And I'm going to complete the square for this part here. So I'm going to get y minus a over 2 all squared minus a squared over 4 equals 0. Add the a squared over 4 to both sides and we've now got something we can sketch. So this is a circle. Center is x is 0, y is a over 2. So we've got a over 2 here. And the radius is the square root of this which is also a over 2. So it's going to sit on the axis there. So we have a circle sitting on the axis center zero pi over two.